This knowledge clip is about how to read those challenging articles. Produced by Enve, it is a part of a series of research knowledge clips based on the five steps of a research cycle. In this knowledge clip, the focus will be on step three, research. You will get acquainted with the good, the bad and the ugly. Why should you want this anyway? Well, to save time, to be more effective in reading, to know where to look at, to judge the credibility and learn the difference between a good and a bad article. At the end of this clip, you will know the general structure of an article. You will recognize the headings and you know what content is found under each heading. The good, by the end you will know how to read an article. The bad, you need to watch this knowledge clip. And the ugly, you need to do some work. So, let's start with the ugly. Here's an article. You probably recognize it. But how is it structured? You almost always will find these headings. First, the title and the authors. Then you will find the abstract. Reading only the abstract will, unfortunately, not be enough. When we go down, you will find the introduction, methods, results, and discussion. And conclusions. In this article, you see the ugly again, because it says implications instead of conclusion. And finally, the references. Take, let's take a deeper look into these headings. In a good article, the title will give you an insight into the research that has been done. Be aware, you cannot judge the quality of an article by its title. The abstract gives you a short summary of what is done in the research. It includes the purpose, what was done, the results which were obtained, and a discussion, discussion and a short answer to the research question. So it's good, but a little ugly too, because it's only a summary. Then the introduction. Here you can find the reasons for doing this research, including the objectives and the research question. The methods. It describes the how and the what. For example, if you would like to know what they did with the group of patients and what they used to measure the outcomes, you can find it here. Then the results. Here you find the numbers which are related to the measurements performed on the patient. Usually they are presented in figures, tables and also described. And here they present these ugly statistics that students love to hate. How about these statistics? Can you tell me more about them? Sorry, then you will have to watch another clip. Then the discussion. The authors tell you about their interpretation of the results. It's a critical view on the study regarding the research process and the outcomes. Also, you can find a comparison of the results with other studies. In the conclusion, you will find the answer to the research question and what new knowledge has been added to the world. This is a good part. Finally, the references are quite good too. You can find all kind of related articles here, which were used to write this article. So. You have met the good, the bad and the ugly. Now it's time for you to try it out and see if you can find all this stuff in the articles you want to understand. Let's take a shot.